Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And look at all these grown ass men trying to catch them all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Panic at the Pokemon Disco. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Pokemon card debacle. Uh, now, this is an article that went up yesterday on Kotaku showing men scrambling for Pokemon cards. Uh, now, there was an altercation a week or so ago, a couple of weeks ago, over sports cards at a Target. They think it was sports cards um, that led to a brawl, which now led to is leading to a card shortage or Well, there something. was a shortage, which was the issue. And then they were saying that it was only like one pack per customer on Fridays per type. Yeah. And then I guess the guy was in a Target and he was in the parking lot and then four suspects you know, came at him and he had a gun and... And I, I'm, they said sports cards, but I, the police said cards of some kind. So if I was betting, I'd probably say it's Pokemon more than the sports cards. But I'm not up on the sports cards industry, so who knows? Yeah, this is kind of insane. Now, we know there are shortages of a lot of things, uh, a lot of paper and wood products. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what's going on or where the problem began. This but is because people are buying and to sell. This is scalpers. Yeah. So that's yeah. what this is. This is like what we saw with the Amiibo. Mm -hmm. uh, Amiibo, yeah. Amiibo cards. My mind's kind of putting today, guys. That's what we saw with those, um, uh, you know, with the Animal Crossing ones that were the Sanrio. Um, anytime there's something special, they get they get taken up immediately or sold out the back door to go onto the internet. Scalper, scalper. Yeah, so this uh, this made the news, uh, mainstream media news, actually, a couple of weeks ago, and now we're, we're seeing the ensuing chaos. Now, uh, yesterday, or the day, day before, before yesterday, we were at Walmart, and I know we've been following this for a while. We just didn't do a video on it. Um, I saw this at our, our Walmart, and I was like, oh, because this happened before the, the thing in the Walmart video in PA. Until further notice, there's a limit of one pack per day per person on football. Now, they're letting you have one pack per person per day here. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon, baseball, and basketball cards. These may be purchased at the service desk. Thank you. Like tobacco? I mean, Apparently. Well, you don't, I don't think you part. You, that's, they, they do that in a different case. That's not even the service desk. These are behind the service desk. Oh, my desk. God. This is crazy. This is crazy. So we're going to talk about that before we get into it. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 190,000, almost 191,000. Woohoo! We're only like 100 away. So push the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, this is coming from Kotaku. Chaos. Chaos at Walmart as people rush to buy Pokemon cards. This is a PA Walmart, apparently. Yeah, they said the continued shortage of Pokemon cards fueled by the pandemic, uh, Twitch streamers and scalpers, led to a chaotic situation at a Walmart in PA. The mo this isn't ours, by the way. Uh, the moment the store opened, folks began to ran to the section of the store where trading cards are sold, leading to chaos in one sad sight. The video captured by Instagram user TCG Grassy and shared by Twitter user Big Card Thirty. I wonder what they're into. <laughs> Big what, Card Thirty. I don't know what could it be. Uh, you need. You want to get yourself. You want to get yourself a, a Charizard. You got to go talk to Big Card Thirty. <laughs> He's got him in the van. Uh, around a dozen or more people can be seen rushing through the entrance of a Walmart. The moment the doors were unlocked at seven, they were there to buy up the newly stocked Pokemon cards. Let's see. It's like Black Friday. Wait, oh my wait, god! Got the whole video. Okay. Gotta catch them all. Oh go, my go, go! Oh, they're going like, to run well, out. Yeah, this is like Black Friday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to run, gonna run out you of Pokemon. You have cards to go get Pokemon? No, they're not limiting it? Because our Walmart, had, before this happened, had a limit. Can you smell the weeps to The guy, did you just grab him completely? Did you see that? Oh, he yeah. grabbed the entire, he grabbed the entire thing. Oh, my God. Oh, pull up your uh, pants. Pull up your pants. Allowed, at ours, you're allowed to have one. The you guy would've... goes in there and he literally grabs the entire display and throws it in the cart. That reminds me of that story with the person with the, with the was it the um, 3DSs? Was that oh, what it was? yeah, that happened on Black Friday at, uh, at our... If it wasn't, Bla it wasn't Black Friday, it was just a big sale they had. Yeah, but they had a, a 3DS and I think it was bundled with a Mario game or Zelda, it Zelda or Mario. It was high demand console thing. And it was before the holidays. But anyway, somebody went in and ran in like that, grabbed a couple carts, filled up all the carts with all the units and then they were charging people was it like 50 or 100 bucks to take them out yeah, of their cart? Yeah, you had to pay them money to get it out of the cart. Um, and then I, I, we talked to somebody who was a manager of a, a a toy store nearby who knew the situation and he said the one one guy got arrested now like how did he get arrested he took one of them out of the carts without paying the person and they arrested him because he said you're not allowed to take stuff out of people's carts 
According to Hype Beast, Target has stopped selling trading cards due to the increased violence. This is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at. Uh, well, so now Walmart's violence. probably going to stop it. I don't know. Our Walmart already had a limit, and that was before this happened. Or no, the same day. Yeah. Same day. Ours had a limit because it was Friday. Because Fridays, I guess, are the days that the stuff comes out. Mm -hmm. And our Walmart had to sign up, you know. And I saw people coming in and looking for the Pokemon cards and looking at. I, when we were checking out. Um, I took a picture of the sign. People were coming in and they were looking at the card display, um, which is funny. Magic the Gathering is not one that they are limiting <laughs> or in demand. Uh, yeah, I think they had our Walmart actually had uh, magic cards. Stocked on the shelves. They had tons of them. Yeah, that wasn't one of the ones they're looking. Nobody cares. Um, but they were in there looking at Pokemon stuff, and they, the the cards weren't there. Um, you have to go to service desk, and, but they're lying one per pack, one pack per person per day at our Walmart. That might be changed now after what happened uh, at another PA Walmart yeah. the same day. Meanwhile, uh, some people aren't aren't quite yeah. quite the assholes that others are. This one is this one will break your heart. While Pokemon cards are in demand, the scalpers are just cleaning the shelves, clearing the shelves of the card. It, this is Lebanon, Virginia. Boy, um, has, his puppy was sick, so he went outside, and it was going to cost a lot of money. So he went outside and and was selling his Pokemon cards along the side of the road. To raise money to, to, for his puppy. Now, they had a GoFundMe. The GoFundMe has, they ended it as soon as they got enough money to cover the expenses. They had a little more than they needed. And they said any extra money was going to go help other animals in the area at the vet. But he was taking his own, now cards being what they are and being worth so much money that it's causing riots of, with grown ass adults. A child was selling his cards to try to save his dog. Yeah, um... He said, this is eight-year-old Bryson Kleeman, a die-hard Pokemon fanatic. He was organizing his playing cards and noticed his dog, Bruce, had fallen sick as Mother Kimberly Woodruff rushed the dog to the Southwest Virginia Veterinarian Services. Uh, he wasn't coming out of his cage and being the normal puppy he usually is. Uh, he was very lethargic, just not doing good. Uh, he was diagnosed with parvo. Oh, parvo is not good. Parvo it is, is very good. contagious. And there's a lot they have to do for that because my sister's cat had parvo. Treatment cost nearly $700, a price the family couldn't afford to pay, and the puppy Bryson says he couldn't afford to lose. Oh, man. Um, so many, so your yeah, geeky's getting getting a little uh, teary-eyed here. Maybe kind of sad, because usually my brother and sister play together, and I don't have anybody to play with, so I usually play with the puppy. Aware of his parents' financial situation, Bryson used his love for Bruce and his passion for Pokemon to take matters into his own hands. His plan caught his mother by surprise. While I'm at school, I get a text message with a picture of him and a sign on the side of the road selling Pokemon cards. Now, everyone likes Pokemon cards, so I just decided to sell them. Uh, Bryson's mom posted the picture online to help get the word out. She later made a GoFundMe with the goal of 800 but the donation succeeded. They got over 5000 I was so happy because I really wanted to get him back. Um, yeah, Bryson, re uh, after overwhelming community support and a week of treatment, Bryson reunited with Bruce, proving nothing can beat the love between a young man and his furry best friend. It's like Ash and Pikachu. Yeah, I actually shared this on Twitter a little while back, I, the day I saw it, so whatever day this was up. But, um, yeah, th th they're fighting over Pokemon cards to scalp them on the internet. One guy, one guy, literally you see him t put the entire display in his cart. And then meanwhile, there's a little boy who probably under probably got pay, underpaid for his cards. Yeah. To save his dog. So who's the adult here? Yeah. <laughs> some people should send that little boy some cards. Yeah, right. I'm like, this is this is insane. I mean, this, I get it. You adults can collect too. The thing is, I don't think this is this isn't collecting. This isn't this collecting. Is, this is this is scalp. These are like the people that go to the stores and like wipe the shelves of everything. Yeah, you know. Yep. Um, even when I do couponing and stuff, and even when I do that, I don't ever take everything off the shelf. Unless there's like two and that's it. Um, I'm not one of those people who come in and do that. Um, it's all the same guy. <laughs> it's all the same guy. Like all these guys look exactly the same. Like they're they're in a club. They're at the, this is their gym. <laughs> you say club, I say cult. Anyway. Um, it's their gym. No, it's because they're making money off of it. Yeah, um, I mean, look, I'm not going to fault anybody for making money, but it's just crazy. Dude. You didn't go too far. I was thinking about that time at um, a couple years ago at Black Friday at the Walmart that wasn't far from here. Um, yeah, people were really mad because they were having a bunch of specials for Black Friday. And the store was one of the stores, you know, that opened at a certain time. It wasn't one of those 24-hour ones. So at the time, they used to have 24-hour Walmarts. Mm. So um, 
those, those people were upset because they were staying in line waiting to get in. And while they were staying in line waiting to get in, um, all these pallets start coming out. Like, so the doors mm-hmm. open, you know what I'm talking about. All these pallets, of these Walmart employees are carrying these pallets out to load them up into U-Hauls. Like, yes. as soon as the store opened, yes. um, people went to go get stuff, and they were told, when they went to open stuff, they were told, oh, you can't take any, the whole thing's sold. And some guy was selling on um, Amazon had gone in and somehow managed to buy everything or buy a whole bunch of everything so people weren't allowed to have it and take it out right to these U-Hauls, and people were pissed. Yeah, they basically just bought all the Black Friday stuff out of the back door. You know? Yeah, I mean, it was the stores just, just open yet somehow they had everything secured. And people were like, they were like interviewing people. They were like, I went to go get one. They told me I couldn't have one because they were all sold. Someone already bought them all. And I, I, I think it, the manager got in trouble, too, because they were like, wait, what? You know, how did this happen? But that kind of behavior is shit. Don't be that. Don't be that person. These guys are not weebs. I'm looking. I'm like, these are sports cards, guys. And they they probably have online businesses. And mm-hmm. like, you can tell they're, they're not weebs. But that one guy you watch uh, and he literally, you can see him dump the entire, if you go down to the main video, you're like right there. Look, see the entire, he's like dumping. Look, he's taking whole displays and dumping them into the cart. I'm surprised that somebody just doesn't. Punch him in the but back. The guy's of the watching. Head. The guy's looking. The guy was looking. You can tell him thinking, like, "Oh, should I grab some out of his car?" Oh, that has happened to you before. You've gone shopping and you've had you've had uh, parents send their kids to take stuff out of your. Oh, head. that was a different story. Wait, is that yes. guy on crutches? Was he? I think this guy's on crutches. Where? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh yeah, he's. Well, he, he it looks like he was trying to, and they're just pushing past him. They like, just dude, push right right over him. Oh my god! I thought this, people might be there just to get their kid one pack. Yeah. It's God. That's nuts. Um, yeah, we had a viewer, very nice viewer, send send yes, you. Yes, thank a, you so much. Um, send you a pack of of uh, the uh, Sam Rio Animal Crossing cards, which yeah. I guess it was this kind of a situation too. Yeah, and so. I really appreciate it because um, I really wanted them. So you know, it's just you know because I was going to use them, and yeah. and they're going to get used, and that's you know I'm not selling them or anything like that. They're they're mine, and I'll use them. But it's just you know, look, I'm not going to fault anybody for making money. Yeah, because I know a lot of people do this, and that's fine. But there are there are limits, people. Yeah, uh, for sure. But um, I don't know, guys. There you go. There's there's the state of the world in Pokemon cards. Pokemon. Apparently, like like everybody's like, is Pokemon still a thing? Go play some Pokemon Snap and feel better about yourself. There you go. Uh, Pokemon Snap's very yeah. Go to Clownfish Gaming where you can watch Geeky play some Pokemon Snap. Yeah, with, with Squeaky. We, 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 we didn't mean to make it inappropriate, but we made it inappropriate. Well, the professor's hot. He's, I don't think the professor's weird. hot. He's, he's supposed to be a hot professor. Hot I, professor. I don't see it either. But his, his and his friend's daughter is his summer intern living on his, his camp, staying with him. Yeah, that's a and little weird. And then you're weird. another young person staying with him at the camp. That's, it's just, that's it's a little just, weird. It's weird. Anyway. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.